The rules, they are a change in here in Central Florida when it comes to the world of new construction. We're gonna talk about that next, stick around. Oh, this one's gonna be a good one. Yes! Hey everybody, it's Matt Allen here once again. Thanks for joining me today. We got big news here in Central Florida when it comes to new construction. Was spending some time over the last week and a half, two weeks, looking back at some of the new construction build sites here in town, trying to figure out has anything changed? And sure enough, we've got some big changes happening here in Central Florida when it comes to new construction. Things for you buyers out there that are gonna be beneficial. We're gonna start right off with, with number one. I'm gonna start with the biggest change happening here in Central Florida, and that is the end of the bidding process. Now, keep in mind, I'm keeping this pretty general. That's not the case throughout every builder everywhere. I'm sure there's somewhere in Central Florida that they still have limited lots going on. In fact, there's one in Gotha and Fire Creek. I know they're taking a wait list for right now, but I was on the phone yesterday with DR Horton and they've done away with their bidding process. So they have plenty of inventory for you to choose from. So you don't have to go in on a Wednesday, put an offer in and pray until Friday or Sunday that that's gonna get accepted. So that's big news when it comes to you buyers out there looking for new construction. There's plenty to be had now. Speaking of plenty to be had, there are tons of options available. All shapes and sizes of houses seem to be readily available, whether it's two story, one story, a big lot, a small lot, a lake lot. You make the decision. It's refreshing right now to see it going back into the hands of the buyer to have some choices as opposed to you know what we call order taking where you go in and pretty much pick whatever they have available so that's big news as well now there's two things that always show their heads when the market is beginning to shift can you guess what those are number one is incentives for buyers start coming back right now i'm getting a lot of emails for incentives for closing cost buy down rates, meaning that the rates are still, you know, climbing, but the builders are willing to buy those rates down for you with their own money in order to give you a reasonable rate. They're also giving closing cost incentives. That's, that's a big deal when you see what's happening. Now, what they're trying to do is keep the purchase prices from falling. So they're they're willing to do all of these other things to maintain those purchase prices for those that may be needing financing and appraisal contingency, things like that. They don't like their prices to drop. That shows negative, you know, across the board with any builder. They don't they don't ever want to see that happening. So they're going to do every incentive to keep those prices the same or continue to rise, but offering you some incentives against those rising prices. Now the other big thing that starts to surface when there seems to be a shift in the market, and you probably wouldn't be aware of this because most realtors don't share this, I'm gonna share it with you today though, is that cooperating agent commission, the commission that's uh, offered to us as realtors to bring buyers to sales centers and draw up those contracts and whatnot, starts to increase. Now I will tell you during the craziness that happened over the last few years, builders have slowly cut those commissions. Generally, there's been a few and I'll give uh, kudos today to DR Horton who has maintained that 3%, which is typical in, this, in, the, in the real estate realm to offer to cooperating agents. Some have gone to flat fees, some have reduced it to 1%. Um, but again, DR Horton's maintained that, but now we're starting to see the shift and the builders, Lennar I know, is starting to increase their uh, commissions up to 2%, I think. And then if you sell another one, they, they offer you up to 3%. But the big thing that's happening is we're starting at emails with the big B word. Does anybody know what that is? Bonus time. We're seeing bonuses being offered to realtors to bring 
their buyers to these sales centers, to these new communities in order to sell them homes. We typically have not seen that probably in the last two plus years. So it's interesting to see those are starting to come back. So obviously all of these benefit you as the buyer looking to get back into new construction, whether you took a break or have been getting outbid for the last six months that I have customers that have had happen to them, now is that great time to jump back in. Now, as many of you know, a lot of lenders have their own mortgage company or a preferred mortgage company that offers incentives. The offshoot of what's happening in the market is that outside lenders are getting more competitive and competing with those new builder lenders with no closing costs, offering uh, incentives. Uh, Tomo, I was just on the phone with yesterday, is offering $500 towards closing costs and they don't charge any fees up front. So no closing fees or, or lender fees that are typical uh, with most lenders. So the builder lenders are having to become more competitive with outside lenders who really want that business. So that's another benefit. This is getting good, isn't it? Are you excited? You know, as things continue to improve, I also see more benefits becoming available to buyers looking to buy new construction. As it becomes more competitive, builders need to come up with new and innovative ways to attract buyers. One thing I'll bet you anything we see here in the very near future is allowing buyers to choose options again. You remember options, you could choose paint color, tile, you know, what kind of cabinets you wanted. I'll bet anything in the near future, you're gonna have some of those options come back. Now it's not guaranteed and not every builder's gonna do it, but I bet some do and I bet those are the ones that are gonna start attracting some of those buyers. Guys, I hope this was helpful and interesting for you. If you found it interesting, please hit that like, subscribe button, activate that bell so you know when I put a new video out. I try to put one out once a week. If you have any questions, please let me be your resource here in Orlando. Drop them down below or just send me a text message. My telephone number, and this is a direct telephone number that go to my phone when it's not recording video, is 321-228-5555. I try to pick up if I'm not with a client or it's not 3.30 in the morning. Have a great rest of your day. We will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Things are changing. Things are changing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey, if you found this video interesting, you got to check out the videos over here. More information about real estate here in Central Florida. Thank you so much.